Welcome back, guys. So we're gonna go to balance beam. We're gonna go over positions and skills at the same time, because most of the positions that we did on floor were carry over to this. So before we get started on that though, please again, make sure that if you do anything inside to move anything out of the way that they could get hurt with, furniture, uh, we wanna keep them safe, anything away from counters, no, no damage to the gymnast while they're at home. Uh, also look for our videos on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And Miss Rachel should be e emailing some to you as well. Um, so look for those also. If you have any questions, uh, get uh, a hold of Miss Rachel through her email, which is pgaccounting at bellsouth.net. All right, so the balance beam for division two, we're gonna start off with just simple walking forward, <clears throat> backwards and sideways. When, <clears throat> when they're doing this, uh, it's some amazing days lately we've had when it comes to weather. So get some sidewalk chalk, let them draw their own balance beam. <clears throat> a typical balance beam is four inches wide, uh, so they can estimate it or you can actually get a ruler out for a lesson there to make it um, kind of like a school activity as well. So walking forward, when they're on the beam, we always want to remember that they want their feet to always face forward, never sickle. So they should know this already, but we're gonna do arms out, high on toe, just walking with straight knees all the way to the end, and then walking backwards, trying to lock their knees out as they walk. We don't wanna bend as we walk. Sideways, they can face this way or that way. The arms are outside, we step together. Again, try to be on toe, eyes this way. Sometimes they'll turn their head that way. We want it forward and step together all the way down. So that's forward. Backwards and sideways. We went over this good jump with the positions. So again, they want to start in a susu, one foot in front of the other, high on toe. They want to bend to a demi. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. They can put arms out here, but probably better hands on hips. They'll do their split jump and land back in a demi. Not bad for a 47 year old. Uh, number three, passe walks to kick. So again, arms are side, passe or flamingo, sometimes they call it here and just kick. They wanna extend the leg out so the toe is pointed. Doesn't matter how high it is, mainly that the leg is straight and toe pointed. So passe, walks to kick. Cartwheel, they're gonna take the skill from the floor. They're gonna start off in a lunge, arms by ears, hands in the beam as they do it. Make sure their arms stay by their ears, they don't drop the arms. And cartwheel finish in a lunge. <clears throat> Number five is the T to lever. So again, the lunge position is so important in gymnastics. Make sure their feet are turned forward, arms by their ears. They'll go from a lunge. They can keep this leg bent or they can straighten it up. They'll go to a T first and then they'll reach for the beam. Hopefully have more flexibility than me. Hands touch the beam, come back to a T into a lunge. And the last one, number six, is the alligator handstand. So it's just a handstand. Remember when they're on the balance beam, by the way, Anything uh, crosswise or handstand wise, we teach them butterfly hands and that's where their thumbs are on top and fingers on the side. Of course, it's gonna be kind of hard with the, to demonstrate that with just the floor beam here, um, but they wanna practice butterfly hands. So they're gonna start their lunge, arms up, kick up to a handstand. The alligator handstand, the legs stay split and they come back down. Really, again, important to make sure their feet are turned forward. If they turn feet, they fall off the beam. So that's not what we want. Um, also, if they want to practice some of these walking skills, if you've got a sidewalk that has a curve on it, um, I'd be careful with the handstands and crumbles, but at least walking forward and backwards, that would be a little more of a challenge. Otherwise, as always, we miss our gymnast. Uh, we want to see y'all back as soon as possible. Once we get the green light, we'll get back to things here. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, email Miss Rachel and check us out on these social medias, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we miss everybody and hope to see y'all soon.